All right, my friends, we're going to look at zeros, undefined points, and holes in rational functions. So if you look at this function f of x on the left-hand side, we have uh, it's written as a product of three factors, x minus 1, x minus 3, x minus 5. Um, as you may know, then, if, each, if any of these factors are zero, then the function itself, the entire thing, will be zero. So what this means is there are zeros of this function at x equals 1, x equals 3, and x equals 5. Well, if you graph that function, as I've done here, you can see that indeed we get the zeros at x equals 1, x equals 3, and x equals 5. Well, so with that in mind, let's look at this function that's on the right. What's a little different here is we have some factors in the denominator. Um, we have a, an expression in the denominator that's written as a product of two factors. Well, if either of those two factors is 0, we would have a case where we're dividing by 0. So what that means is this function g of x would be undefined at x equals 2 and x equals 5 because that would put a 0 in the denominator and we would be dividing by 0. The other thing we're going to see is that because we have a factor of x minus 5 also in the numerator, um, a factor in the denominator is matched, say, by a factor that's in the numerator, there's going to be something called a hole um, at the position or at the, with the x coordinate of 5. Well, let's see what the graph of this function looks like. Well, the function is supposed to be undefined to x equals 2, and indeed you can see the function you know, blows up to infinity here coming from, the, from, coming from the left and down to negative infinity coming from the right. But then we have this value or, or hole that is at, uh, with an x-coordinate of 5. Um, well, left over in the numerator, besides this factor of x minus 5, we have x minus 1 and x minus 3. And so uh, if you remember, factors in the numerator tell you where the function has zeros. Well, we can see that well, we should have zeros at x equals 1 and x equals 3. And if you look at the graph, well, there they are. There's the 0 at x equals 1 and the 0 at x equals 3. So by looking at where the de factors in the denominator go to 0, you can find places where the function will be undefined. And by looking at places where factors in the numerator go to 0, you can find the zeros of the function. Um, so let's do a couple quick examples here. Uh, so here's another function. Um, we have x plus 3 in the numerator and x squared minus 3x minus 18 in the denominator. Well, to see if there are any places where the function is undefined, let's look for where the denominator goes to 0. And the easiest way to see that is to factor that denominator. So that denominator will factor into x minus 6 and x plus 3. Well, what you can see from that then is that the function would be undefined at x equals 6, because that would make the first factor 0 in the denominator and at x equals negative 3, which would make the second factor in the denominator 0. So the function is supposed to be undefined at those two points. Um, much like the last example, though, we have this factor that also appears in the numerator, and what that means is there's going to be a hole at x equals negative 3. Uh, and then uh, likewise, um, well, we can make the graph here, and what you see is Indeed, the function's undefined at x equals 6. It, will, it blows up to positive infinity coming from the right, from above, and it goes to negative infinity if you come from, come from below or from lower x values. Um, and then at x equals negative 3, you have this hole, this one point where the function is not defined. There's the hole at x equals negative 3. Uh, and so this function that's plotted here actually in red, these red curves, are exactly the same as the curves you'd get if you plotted 1 over x minus 6, with the exception of this hole that is at x equals negative 3, and that's because of this, these repeated factors, that, these factors that appear in both the numerator and the denominator. So let's look at one final example. Um, now we have x plus 3 times x plus 2 in the numerator of this function and x squared plus x minus 2 in the denominator. Once again, to look where the function's undefined, we should look at where the denominator goes to 0, and the easiest way to do that is to factor that denominator. Um, this denominator would factor into x minus 1, x plus 2. And what you can see from that is the function is going to be undefined at x equals 1, corresponding with this factor right there. And at x equals negative 2, the function will also be undefined. 
Well, once again, you have this uh, factor of x plus 2 that also appears in the numerator. So what that means is there's going to be a whole at x equals negative 2. And there should be a 0 at x equals negative 3 because of this remaining factor that's in the numerator. Well, so let's see what the graph of this thing looks like. Looks like that. Uh, it's supposed to be undefined at x equals 1. Again, you see that it's, it's blowing up to infinity uh, coming from above and to negative infinity coming from below at x equals 1. So indeed, it's undefined there. Uh, and then also we have this hole at, well, with an x-coordinate anyway, of negative 2. This function here that is plotted with this hole here is exactly the same as g of x equals x plus 3 over x minus 1 um, with the exception of this hole that is at uh, x equals minus 2. So in other words, this expression here, just g of x is x plus 3 over x minus 1, it would be the same exact red curve, only there would not be a hole there. Um, but if you have these extra factors, x plus 2 in the numerator and x plus 2 in the denominator, what that will do is generate a hole at this point or an undefined uh, point with an x-coordinate of negative 2. Well, hopefully that helps. Uh, in summary, to look for zeros, look for where factors in the numerator um, go to 0, um, unless they're repeated. If you have a factor in the numerator um, that's repeated in the denominator, you're going to have a whole with that uh, x-coordinate that goes along with that factor. Um, and then likewise, looking at where factors in the denominator go to zero, that's going to let you know where your undefined points are. Uh, I hope that helps, and thanks for checking this out.